We're celebrating the 75th anniversary of victory in Europe. 75 years ago, our nation celebrated with great joy the end of conflict against Nazi Germany and our allies in Europe. There were still some weeks of conflict to go in the Far East, and then the Second World War would be over. People so looked forward to peace, to the end of the suffering and sacrifice they'd endured for six long years. But as we know now, the 20th century continued with conflict. It's the bloodiest century in our history. Even this century started with us involved in operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. Will we never achieve peace? We've asked some of our scripture readers to reflect on their personal experiences of finding peace. I think you'll find it really interesting. In 1996, I was sent to Bosnia as part of the implementation force uh, to war-torn Yugoslavia uh, as a peacekeeper. Bosnia was probably one of the darkest places I've ever been in my entire life. And when I came back, I definitely felt the effects of being in a war zone where things like ethnic cleansing and murder of young children were prominent. On our return, like everyone does when they've been on an operational tour, we received a medal. On the back of that medal, it tells us that we were in the service of peace and freedom. I'm exceptionally proud to be a former peacekeeper in what was an extremely nasty and dark war zone. It was while I was in Bosnia that my own internal peace began to bother me. On one of my patrols up country, to deliver some ammunition and supplies to another unit, we unfortunately found ourselves trapped in a minefield. Now, I had been falling out with God for some time, but on that particular day, realising that my own mortality could be imminent, I did something I hadn't done for a very long time. I looked up to the heavens and I asked God to protect me and to get me out of that minefield. I made a bit of a bargain with God that day and said, if you get me out of the minefield, I will follow you for the rest of my life. On my return from Bosnia back to Germany and then latterly leaving the army and into Civvy Street, I discovered that what I was looking for was in fact internal peace. Even though I'd spent seven months keeping the peace, I had no internal peace myself. I tried all sorts of different avenues to receive my peace, none of which satisfied me in the slightest. It was only when I was introduced once again to the Lord Jesus Christ and accepted him as my personal saviour that I felt something that I had not felt since I was a child, a massive sense of peace. Becoming a Christian has given me internal peace. The peace and freedom that I offer to people now is completely different to what I was offering out in Bosnia. In Bosnia, it was a physical peace. Now I offer my young men and women who I work with a chance to explore what internal peace is through Jesus Christ. It's a huge privilege to be able to be a scripture reader and to share the peace that I have with young men and women who live in a world today which is full of anxiety and stress. To offer them the chance to explore the hope and the peace that I have through Jesus Christ is an enormous privilege. That is what peace means to me. I think one thing I like to look at is there's a piece of scripture that says, uh, do not worry. And it's really stuck with me with, and especially with this idea of sort of peace with God. Um, I've came from a background where I've suffered with anxiety um, as well as other mental illnesses. And I have found that there's been multiple times where actually I've worried about things. I've had fears about things and things that have really got to my head. And there's just been those times where actually I find peace of mind because I can just stop, pray for it and actually let someone else take that burden off me. It's happened in my course. I've had a test coming up, um, a major test. And some of these tests, if you fail them, you can actually get taken off the course. There's been times where I've worried about it, worried I'm not going to pass it. I don't know it well enough or I'm going to forget it on the day. And I've just stopped and I've sort of prayed and I've just said, God, I'm really struggling and I need some help here. 
I've found comfort in that. And I've, I've definitely found peace from that. So I really do believe that actually we can get peace of mind from God. Let me read to you a little portion of scripture. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give it to you as the world does. Do not let your hearts be distressed or lacking in courage. Those are the words of Jesus. And they rang true for me and my wife, Karen. During a really difficult time in our lives, Karen and I were overwhelmed at the end of ourselves. We were in a lot of debt and life just seemed pointless and hopeless. And one afternoon we found ourselves together and there were no words. We were just completely done. But after a little while, I said to Karen, it was amazing because I actually felt like I was laying in the palm of God's hand. It was like he had his presence around us. And Karen was amazed and she said, that's exactly how I felt. And we often think back to that moment of true peace amidst the turmoil of life, amidst all the troubles that we were facing. We still had God's peace and it was like God was saying to us, I've got this, I'm still here. That to me is true peace. The most remarkable thing that we can enjoy as Christians is peace with God. And that peace is a lasting peace that only Jesus can offer. Jesus said, come to me all who are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest. And that rest is the best form of peace there is. He offers us his peace and we can enjoy a relationship with God forever.